What's going on guys? Stevie from the Minute Masters here and today I'm going to show you why you should never put a cheap leveling kit on your truck. So I know this video might be a little unpopular for some of you, but I could just be saving you guys money on tires and other related parts. Two things. This video only applies to Ford trucks with the twin I-beam suspension or twin traction beam suspension. Twin I-beam for two-wheel drive and traction beam for four-wheel drive. Second, I'm only referring to leveling kits that are only an extended coil spring or a coil spring spacer, okay? There's other leveling kits out there with many more parts that actually do a really good job leveling out your vehicle and keeping it, the geometry correct. So anyway, we're gonna cut to a footage of a scale model I made to show you why you should never put one of these cheap leveling kits on your truck. So here's my model of the Ford twin I-beam or twin traction beam suspension. And as you can see, it is a front independent suspension, so I can raise one side and it doesn't affect the other. Now, it was a relatively smooth ride compared to a solid axle, but it had a reputation for prematurely wearing tires. And that's because as the suspension cycled, the camber of the wheel does not change. Let me show you. So when the suspension would fully compress, okay, we get a very negative camber setting. As the suspension extends, we get a very positive camber on that wheel and tire. Now let's just do this in extreme. In the case of pre-runners, you see them extend their suspension and it's literally like this. It's excessive positive camber. Now, you probably have an idea where I'm going with this. So when we put a cheap leveling kit on here and all it does is push the body away from the I-beam, it just increases the positive camber on the wheel, okay? You must avoid these leveling kits or else you will prematurely wear out your tires, okay? Now you're probably thinking, oh, well, Stevie, you know, I'll just, you know, change out the camber bushing there and I'll be able to correct all of that uh, excessive positive camber. Now. When I bought my truck from the previous owner, he installed F-250 coil springs up front, which was like the poor man's leveling kit, okay? The trouble was he didn't address the camber setting here. And when I did have it aligned, I still couldn't get this back to zero camber. It was always slightly positive, okay? So if you feel the need to level out your truck please spend some money on a good leveling kit that actually drops the mounting locations for the I-beams and the, and the radius arms because that is the only way to maintain that zero camber on the wheel, which will save you money on tires. So definitely avoid cheap leveling kits. So guys, that's all for me. I hope you like this informative style video. I know it's not the usual kind of DIY thing, but it's some information I thought you guys would need. So make sure you hit the subscribe icon over here. Check out some of my other videos, a lot of cool stuff and more to come. I'm Stevie from the Minute Masters. Thanks for watching.